Now, here we go. Last video, uh, last example question about the area of circles. Yeah, and it is the other way around now. Because what did it tell me? It tell me, well, the area is 26 centimeters squared. And they give me the area, yeah, instead of asking me to calculate the area. They already give it to me, 26 centimeters squared. Now, what is the question? Calculate the diameter. Okay, and I already drew the diameter, huh? where the diameter is that line from the circumference through the midpoint to the other side, huh? the circumference there. That's the diameter. Good. Now, perhaps you are a little bit confused now all of a sudden, huh? confronted with this new type of question. Write down what do you know. What is the area of a circle? What is the formula? Well, you know that. That's pi r squared. Pi r squared. Hang on a minute. You see that? While I'm writing things down, it comes to me, because that should equal 26. Agree? I hope so. Now, I have to find then the radius, because pi is a number. Yeah, pi is a number. So, the radius squared equals 26 divided by pi. Yeah, I am rearranging the formula. Yeah, this is algebra. I am dividing both sides by pi because then it's gone here so I have 26 divided by pi now if you like yeah if you're not very confident yet you could work that out first yeah let's do 26 divided by pi equals gonna give me a number and yeah, let's write it down you don't have to yeah once you are more experienced three or uh, r, r squared I should say equals eight point two seven six zero five seven 0, 4, 1. Yeah. Make sure now to write down all those decimals because this is not my final answer yet. Because now I have to square root both sides, uh, both sides I should say. Yeah. Because it's r squared that equals 8.27 and the rest. So r equals the square root of that number. Yeah. So don't round here because that's going to mess up your final answer. Square root of my answer equals put that down it's gonna say 2.8768 and the radius therefore of a circle with an area of 26 centimeters squared equals 2.8768 now do I round the radius down to three significant figures and am I finished then no because they're asking me for the diameter all right, careful there. You've done everything correctly. Eh? You know the formula, you connect it to 26. Well done. You rearrange the formula, you find the radius. Well done. You're not finished yet, mate. You have to find the diameter, which is two times the radius. Remember that? Where the radius is that length from the midpoint to the circumference, yeah? That is R. The diameter is the whole line. So 2r is the diameter. So I have to multiply this by 2. So the diameter is just going to fit over here. It's, it's not very, very clear, I agree. But I got to multiply the radius by 2. Which is going to give me 5.753627 and a few more decimals. Yeah, but I am finished now. So I don't write them down because there's no space. Three significant figures, a one, a two, a three. The five stays a five, or goes up to a six. It stays a five. 5.75, what is the unit? Centimeter. All right. So they can give me the area and ask me to calculate, in this particular case, the diameter. If they give me the area, I connect that to pi r squared, the formula for the area of a circle. I work out, I, by rearranging that formula, I work out the radius. 0.87681369 centimeters. Careful. Do not get too excited that you have an answer. Multiply it by 2 because the question asked to find the diameter. Radius times 2 is the diameter. And then you round that answer to 5.75, correct to three significant figures. Okay. That was a lot of working. I hope you understand that. Otherwise, you leave me a comment and I will give you a personal video. Good luck.